Hi guys and welcome to what will be the start of a new Sims series. And I know you're thinking we just got we started one like three episodes ago. What is this? Why are we starting another? And the reason we're starting another is I now have instead of only having four um expansions, I now have thirteen. Thanks to a friend helping me out and I now have thirteen of them. And I also have put mods into it to get different hairstyles and outfits and all that jazz to make it more interesting. And one of my favourite expansions that I got, which we're going to be playing a lot with, is the Supernatural expansion, as you can see here. So, we're going to start and we're going to make two sims this time. Two girls and we'll just make them roommates. And we'll work it like that. Because it gives it more interest and fun stuff to do. So let's make one a witch. Because the witch will be fun. Oh, look at the wand. Okay. Right, time to edit some stuff. There we go. I don't know. Well, is there a slightly pinker skin? There we go. And we're going to go to hairstyle, and I am sorry if you can hear my window open. That is because it is like 20 something degrees here, and I was boiling to death, so I was kind of like, I kind of need it open. You're just going to have to deal with it. So, as you can see here, these are the hairstyles I've downloaded. The ones with the wee bag under them. So, what style are we wanting to go for? We're wanting... A witch, but she's not wanting to be like evil witch. I'm thinking more sort of nice witch, if you know what I mean. That's cute. With it up in a ponytail and it's still fancy. And I like the colour. But that's also nice. With it like over the shoulder. But that's nice because it's like all over. I just don't like how it pure like floats. Like floating. But I do like that. That's nice. It's like in a ponytail and it's over. So we're going to go with that one. And we need to edit the eyebrows. So what we will do this year is, is this will hopefully be the only time we restart it. All going well with um, saves and all that jazz. This should only be the ones we restart it. Um, because eventually we will come to Sims 4 in September when we will jump onto that. So, yes, we will choose a face that's a bit fat. That. Not that. Yeah. That looks quite good. So now we've got to choose our eyes. I'm going to see what they all look like, rather than just my stereotypical first one. I do like that one. But we need to change our eye colour. I think if we get our eye colour to sort of match her eyes, or hair. There we go. That would be cool. See, I'm wanting her to be a sort of nice witch, not like evil pure wahaha witch like nicer and friendlier and all that jazz and all that jazz uh, we haven't even thought of a name for her yet I will probably think of one of them but yes let's see it all the outfits and mods I have got eventually when we find the wee bag come okay, on this is what I mean about all the expansions, that's all them. There we go. Look at these. These are like summer dresses. They're cool. I thought they were nice. That was another one I really liked. Um, Because it's summer here, I'm looking at like all summery stuff. See, they're cute. But I do like that. I really like that. I think that goes well. I'm going to use that one. I like that one with a wee tied knot and all that, jazz. and all that jazz. And I like her wee shoes, but at the same time I think 
she's a witch. She's like a classy teenage, sophisticated witch. I say teenage, she's an adult. So she, I think maybe if she's wearing her flats or maybe heels. Hmm. It just ignore the passing traffic. <laughs> There, cute, okay, like small heels. There we go. See, that's looking pretty. I'm happy about that. I am enjoying this with all the added mods with the different hair styles and colours and outfits. Like, everything's just so fancy. So, I think what I might do is I will skip ahead and I will edit all her outfits myself and then I will show you them all once I have made them. Okay? Okay. Sims being Sims. That was the seat if you heard that noise. There we go. And... Oh. Thank you. So I have finished all of the outfits and here we have the everyday outfit, very summery, very simple and casual. And then when it loads, we will have the formal. And there's a formal one, very colourful, fancy, summery kind of dress with some sandal heels. And then in the sleepwear, in the sleepwear, we have this very sexy sleepwear because she wants to feel good about herself. Like, nothing wrong with that. And this is her workout stuff, just sort of baggy tops and some shorts and shoes. Then her swimwear, she has this sort of summery one piece to chill by the pool. And her out outerwear, she has this coat and boots and everything looks dead fancy so also we are traits I've put animal lover charismatic good perfectionist and supernatural fan so I've done that and I've put her as a mystic healer and her lifetime goals cure 12 different transformed sims using sunlight charm or potent cure elixir so that is her lifetime goal and then we are going to create her other her roommate her other sim roommate I need to name her actually and it's also going to be a female because I really only downloaded female stuff so <laughs> And it's going to be a fairy. And we're going to edit her up and see what we have because we have plenty of like outfits and that to play around with. And we'll change the wings to those spirally ones. And I don't want that colour. So the other one is blue, we'll make this one pink. Yes. She can be kind of pinky. So let's see the hairstyles we have. The ones that I got. Um, what about that one? That looks fancy. I might though... Oh no, that's better. I like that pink. With the wee hints of dark through it. That's good. Okay. And the eyebrows are fine, just need to change the shape off my wee bit. There we go. I just quite like her face type. I say as I click onto the next one. There we go, those eyes are better. And I like those pinky eyes, they're sort of purple. That nose was a wee bit too small. There we go. And... That looks pretty. There we go. So she's a fairy. So we'll keep her sort of makeup more natural. So everyday outfit. 
there is some fairy stuff that we can play around with and see. Um, but I do like the stuff I downloaded, obviously, because I specifically downloaded it. But we'll see where is the other outfits. I don't want her to be wearing the same. That's the Katy Perry stuff. Very sparkly. And very shiny. Just full length leather suit. Because, you know, who doesn't want that on a hot summer's day? I think that's meant to be the werewolf thing. That is cute. It's very simple as an everyday outfit. So is that. But it's not very summery. And I'm just thinking summery now because of the time of year. But I do really like that actually. That's what we're going for. Yep. And I like those shoes with it. So I will do the same and I will go and choose the rest for outfits. And I will do a quick fashion show once I have chosen them all. So you will see them all soon. So that's us done with the outfits and now I will show you them all. So this is the everyday one as I'd said before and this is going to be the formal one when it loads. This is what she'll wear when she's going out on dates or fancy occasions like parties and such. And that is this one, the nice summer dress, very long and I like the colours in it. That was another modded download one. This is her sleepwear, a bit more conservative than the witches, whose name I still think of. This is her athletic gear, just some shorts and a like crop top kind of thing. And then we go on to swimwear, which is also another like two piece swimsuit, swimsuit, and. Her outer wear is that jacket thing that I liked before, except it put gloves on. I would rather you didn't put gloves on. I'd selected the gloves off, thank you very much. Where are the gloves? Give me the gloves. There we go. Put them on, now we pick them off. Okay. So one thing about a fairy is they automatically have the green thumb. So we don't need to do that. So we'll put her ambitious. She can be ambitious, and she can be charismatic, and she can be a diva, and she can be friendly, and where's the, there's one I'd seen, natural born performer. Natural born performer. There we go. I think that's good for an actress. Yep. So you want the master magician. The CEO of Mayor Corporation. Fashion phenomenon. Leader of free world. Super popular. Isn't there one that was like... Well, I'm sure there was one that was meant to be like superstar actress. I thought that's what I would get because I'd put. <laughs> I'm so confused. Maybe composer? No. I'm trying to think of. Where's the one that I'm wanting? My nope. It's the one that's. Uh. Nope, not Monster Maker. It's one that's kind of like Superstar Actress is really what I'm trying to think of. Getting there, Superstar Actor. There we go, that's the one I want. So she can be that. My favourite colour can be pink, because that's her hair. And there we go. I Sorry, I just hit my microphone. So we need to think of a name. I'm going to call her Jinx Evergreen. Yep, Jinx Evergreen. 
and the name for this one can be Zoe. Zoe. Oh, come on. Think of a second name. It's Zoe. Summer. Zoe Summer. Here we go. Zoe Summer and Jinx Evergreen. Roommates, the fairy and the witch. So, they two are going to be best friends. Oh, Ed relationships. I thought it was just going to be your housemates. Spouse, sibling, fiance, girlfriend. No, just going to be housemates. And I downloaded a mod of a very modern house that I'm going to use that they're going to live in, which is this one right here. We can't afford the furnished, apparently, so we'll have to go for unfurnished. Which is annoying because I like the furnished one. But that's 19,000. So we're just going to have to deal with it unfurnished. Let's go in. And I may need to give myself some money to buy some basics. But I don't like cheating in all the money. But I will need to put in some money to be able to afford like a bed and all that jazz. Because I'm pretty sure the house is pretty empty. Yep. So look, this is all very modern. With this fancy sway and say decorated. I just need to put in some money to get all that stuff. So wait, is that? Is that like a balcony just with no door? Well, I'll be adding a door to that so that we can get out and access that balcony. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you can think of any other ideas on what we should do with the Giddles and let me know in the comments below. I will go and put in some stuff. We've got tons of room for expanding like to add a pool and all that when they get more money. Or we can move out because I have also added in some bigger more expensive houses in that are really cool and I like this one because it was very modern. So yeah, let me know in the comments below. And if you can think of anything else you want to see, let me know. And I will furnish it all and you will see it all next episode. I'm just talking, these are words. But I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you next time. Bye! I'm bored of the wind.